Hello everyone, my name is Matthias Muschnik. I am the CEO and founder of Notco. Notco is a food tech company combining machine learning technology with food science to change the way food is made. See, we humans love food. We eat what we eat because it makes us happy. And we love it because it's tasty, it feels good, it's convenient, it's easy, it's part of our culture. The problem is that most of the food that we love to eat, it's actually garbage. See, food R&D has been working for the last 30 years to maximize the most addictive food possible at the cheapest price possible using the worst ingredients possible. And no wonder the pinnacle of R&D in the last 15 years has been a freaking Dorito. <laughs> it's true, it's true, it's tasty, it's cheap, it's profitable. So we've surrounded ourselves by tasty, cheap, profitable products that we don't need are not actually garbage, but we still buy them because often we think that's the only possible way of doing food. Two years ago, with a team of scientists, we decided to group up and disrupt food R&D and change the way we made food. We needed to, to make good food, taste good, and to be affordable as well. And we've chosen plant-based, mainly because of two reasons. One, because science suggests it's the most efficient and healthier way of sourcing our food, and two, because a specific group of people called millennials have themselves, for themselves, created a more than $15 billion food market, uh, a plant-based food market. This is the same group of people that will be driving the more than $3 trillion demand, food demand in the next 10 years. So if we already love the food that we're eating, let's not change it. Let's change the way we make the food that we love to eat. With this concept, we develop a technology. First, we take an animal-based protein food, such as milk, we deconstruct it molecularly, so we have a molecular formulation that describes milk taste, texture, smell, and color. We do the same with plant-based ingredients, and then we develop a machine learning algorithm called Giuseppe that is helping us predict which combination of plant-based ingredients should result in the same molecular structure as the animal-based protein food, such as milk. The algorithm's output are recipes of plant-based ingredients that, when combined together, they should result in something really, really close in taste, texture, smell, and color as milk. All of the sensorial data coming out of this formulation is then uploaded as feedback as the algorithm. So the algorithm is basically training to understand the links between the molecular components in food and the human perception of taste and texture. Then every time we iterate, the end result is a, a plant-based formulation that should taste really, really close to the actual product. The end result, a mayo that tastes like mayo, but without the egg, a yogurt that tastes like yogurt, but without the milk, a milk that tastes like milk, but without the cow. And I'm very happy to display this. This is our first product in supermarkets. We, with this product, it's, not may it's called Not Mayo, it's an eggless mayo, and we're Chileans, we're the third biggest mayo consumers in the world per capita, and in only five months of sales, we became the third biggest mayo brand. Not only that, but we conquered 5% of market share, achieved placement in 220 stores, and the best part of all is that our product, our, our consumers are 85% non-vegans. So we're given the same sensorial experience, or even better, with a lot of health benefits, with the same price as their regular mayonnaise, but actually the way we make it is more profitable than regular mayonnaise. So we want to scale this concept. This is our brand new 64 tons a month mayo facility. This will help us reach 500 stores nationwide, including Walmart, and generate a $4.5 million revenue a year. This is only by selling mayo. Our business model is, basic, is simple. We direct sales to retail and food service, and we're licensing the access to our technology. Why are we better than the competition? Because this technology is allowing us to produce better products, faster, more cost-effective, 
and closer to the real thing than any other one. We're three founders, Karim Pichara, computer science PhD and research, uh, research associate at Harvard, expert in machine learning, Pablo Zamora, biochemist, biotech doctorate from UC Davis, expert in plant genome, and he worked eight years at the R&D department at Mars. Myself, I'm a finance major, foodie, and this is the third food-related startup that I created uh, with one successful exit. We have a very nice team, and it's a mixture of experience and young scientific talent. The Board of, the board of Advisors has a lot of experience in the food industry as well, uh, being Fernando El Solaro, one of them, former Nestle president for Latin America. The roadmap is clear. For 2018, we want to conquer uh, Latin America. We want to scale the concept we have in Chile and bring it to Argentina, Brazil, Peru, and Colombia, generating revenues up to $2 million. Doing the same thing in the US starting in 2019, generating in 2019 itself $7 million. We're recently raising $4 million to actually achieve this, and we're closing the round in the next few days. And this is my, the final slide. And tasting is believing. We have a whole booth for you guys to taste the future of food. Thank you so much.